And now let's take a look at how to create motion blur in Arnold. Now here we have a simple scene with an object moving through the scene. And if we want, we can turn on motion blur for that object in the viewport, but that doesn't mean that the object will blur in the renderer. In order to turn on motion blur in Arnold, we need to go into the Arnold renderer tab under render settings and then find the motion blur tab. And then all we have to do is just enable it. Now we have a number of options here. We have whether or not motion blur will deform. And so that will take into account the deformation of a mesh, such as a character. Do we want the motion of the camera to affect motion blur? And then how many keys do we want to do? In other words, how many samples of motion blur do we want? So the higher the number here, the better the quality, but also the longer the render time. And then finally, we can also center on frame or on the start or the end of the frame. So typically we keep this on center on frame. And then also how much of the frame are we motion blurring? So in other words, how long is the shutter open? So a bigger number here means more blur, a lower number means less blur. So let's go ahead and just keep this on the defaults and let's just do a quick render. So as you can see, we have some motion blur on this object. Now, if we go back into render settings and increase the length, let's go ahead and increase this to say one, then that will create more blur. So let's go ahead and do one more render. And as you can see, we've got a little bit more blur in the scene. As you can see, it's fairly easy to set up motion blur in Arnold. It's a setting within the render settings window.